This is actually a computer awareness course. Last time we had just introduction, right? Today we will start the academic uh, modules, uh, introduction to word processing applications, right? Under this part, uh, we will discuss uh, MS Word application, right? This is the most important uh, application package for your work, right? Especially uh, during your assignments and all other reports, everything, all other letters and everything you need to uh, prepare these documents, you need to have this uh, MS Word application, right? Uh, first, what is word processing? Word processing is creating or editing a document using a word processor. Right? You need to understand there are two words, word processing and word processor. Right? You can create or edit a document using a word processor. This process we call word processing. Right? To perform word processing, you need a computer and a word processor. Right? such as MS Word. There are some other word processing applications or software. But here we discuss about MS Word right? as a word processor. Word processor, right? So then word processor. Now you know that is the application, right? Application software or a device that enables you to perform word processing functions. There are functions when you uh, create uh, documents, right? Write or create, revise or edit, format, store and print. Actually, this we call the document cycle, right? In document cycle, like this, word processing software performs the following activities, entering text, editing text, spell checking, formatting, saving and printing. Those are the steps. We call document cycle, right? Each step in this uh, document cycle involves a number of different features of word processing software. That is what we need to learn, right? That is what we need to learn, different features to do these uh, cycle steps. How, how you enter text, how you edit, how you check for spelling, so then how you format, and how you save this and how you print the documents, right? Using a word processor, you need to learn all these steps to do or create documents, right? Using word processor. There are some advantages uh, of using word processing software, right? That is actually, uh, you can understand all uh, these features in word processor or MS Word are advantages, right? Like uh, you can easily correct any mistakes. When you type a document or text in word processor or MS Word, anytime you can correct mistakes, right? So then you can save multiple versions of documents, right? You can check spell and uh, grammar. Right, you can format, then you can uh, copy and paste, cut and paste. Right, there are some other multimedia features like uh, inserting pictures, shapes, charts, graphs, etc. Right, so and also you can make some templates. Right, those are the advantages. Right, so you may think that uh, word processor or MS Word, and then you can collect some more advantages, right? When you learn uh, MS Word, you can uh, understand all the features are advantages, right? All the features are advantages. Right, MS Word. <laughs> Starting MS Word, right? Uh, how you uh, start MS Word application? It depends, the way it depends on your uh, computer and uh, your operating system, right? You may have uh, different operating systems, right? Maybe Windows 10, the, the new one, or maybe uh, previous versions, right? 
However, you know that uh, start menu or window menu, then you can go all programs, then Microsoft Office, then Office Word, right? And also you can use the recently used programs, right? When you click just, uh, you can see the recently used programs through uh, start menu. And also you can use some uh, shortcuts if you have uh, created shortcuts on your desktop, you can use that one also. And also you can type the search box in Windows to search MS Word and then start, right? right. You know, here in this uh, computer, I use a uh, Windows 10 version, right? So then you can see Windows 10, uh, the appearance like this, right? Now you can see, uh, this bar also because this is Zoom, right? Now I am in the Zoom window and shared my entire screen, right? So that's why you see this everything, right? So I think uh, you can see here, type here to search box, or you can see here the start menu, right? Start menu, the window icon, right? You can just click window icon, then you can select your program here, right? Not only uh, MS Word, any other software you can search here, right? So, other way, just we can type here. If you want to uh, start Word, just you can type Word like that, right? So then you can see the system search the Word and display, right? Now you can see Microsoft Office Word uh, 2007. Uh, the previous version and also you can see another version here this is a, a new version right then if you want to open yes you can click right now you can see uh, the the latest version uh, word 2019 right open like this so then if we have uh, previous save documents just we can click here and open or if you want to uh, create a new document, just you can click blank document here. Right? Blank document. Now you can see MS Word uh, 2019 open with the blank document, right? The blank document. Right, this is a 2019 version. Also, you can open if you have Word 2007. I open both and I will show you there are some differences, right? You can see this is uh, the word uh, 2007 and this is 2019, right? Almost similar, right? Almost similar. I will go like this way, right? right. This is uh, 2019, this is 2007, right? Almost similar. But you can see uh, in the top, you can see a title bar and some controls there. And here, office button, right? This is office button. And also you can see a small toolbar here. This we call quick access toolbar, right? Quick access toolbar. And, uh, and some differences also, you can see the menu, menu bar here. There are some menu items here. We call these tabs, right? Tabs. Once you click one tab, right? You can see there are another tools are open. This area we call ribbon. Ribbon, right? Tab and ribbons, right? The ribbon area divided to different sections, right? Like pages, tables, illustrations under this insert tab. And the home tab, you can see there are other different areas, clipboard, font, paragraph, styles like that. All tabs have their uh, ribbon area and in the ribbon area, different sections. And in these sections, there are several icons or commands or tools. Right? Then you can uh, access these tools using your mouse right? and if you check uh, 
2019 version, new version, you can see here there is no office button, right? No office button. Instead of that, you have a file, file name, right? This is similar as office button, right? If you click there in 2007 version office button, like this, you can see a menu like this, right? If you go to new version, there's a file. Under that also, there are uh, commands and similar with office button, right? Office button. Here, uh, all other uh, features are same, right? You can see a quick access toolbar and uh, tabs and ribbons, right? And title bar and also on the controls, right? To our PPT. Here, you, you know that in uh, uh, especially these IT lectures, uh, normally I uh, conduct the lecture with the uh, PPT slides, but in the slide, there are uh, only uh, small guidelines, right? Like this, you can see this slide, right? St starting MS Word, and then there are some items only, right? So then with the slide, then I will uh, move to the application and I will show you how to do these things, right? So oh, everything is not included in the slide, right? So then you need to understand what I do here, right? As a practical uh, display, right? Time to time, I uh, shift to a PPT slide to check what, what we need to do. And then I come to again to the application and I will show you how to do these things, right? That is how I conduct these lectures, right? Right, next, uh, uh, all next two slides as uh, appearance, right? Just you can see, this is actually uh, about 2016 appearance. Like this, this is uh, 2007 and 16, right? Right, this is actually the word environment. You need to uh, learn office button and also in a new version, file menu, right? File tab and then quick access toolbar, ribbons, ribbon and tabs, status bar, rulers and page, right? You need to check others also, right? You can see now you can understand uh, office button or file and office button in previous versions and new versions file, right? And all other things. And also you can see uh, status bar, the bottom, right? There are some uh, information there, right? And the page, right? This is the page, right? And also you can see, uh, should, uh, ruler should be here. You can not see. So then if you can't see the ruler, just you can go view and under view, there is a uh, command ruler, then just you can click here, then you can see the ruler here, right? This is called ruler for the document, right? Working with documents. Now you can uh, understand the environment, word environment, how it is clear, right? In different uh, versions also, right? Now you can start working, uh, starting a new document. Now you know already you started a new document, right? Create new, uh, save, open, close. These are the uh, very basic things to create a document, right? You can create a document, then you can save, right? And later you can open and close, right? Let's see, uh, create new, that is a very basic thing, right? Here also, already created one, then I will close this and create it again, right? I just close using uh, control W shortcut key, right? Control W shortcut key and then you can create new control N, right? Normally I use shortcut keys for uh, 
some basic commands, right? So you need to uh, also practice those uh, shortcut keys, right? Otherwise you can go like here, file menu, then you can close this one, right? You can close the open file like this, right? Again, you can go file here, then new and blank document, right? That is how you uh, create a new one using mouse. Right? But there are some steps, right? So if you know the shortcut key for a, a particular command, just you can use that shortcut key, right? I will close this one using control plus W, close. And again, create new one, control N. You need to practice those shortcut keys, right? And uh, to open, control O. Open control O. Right now it's clear. And then next step is a very important uh, step file saving. Right? This is very important. When you start to create a Word document, first thing you can uh, open. MS Word, then you can create new file. Then before you are starting to insert text or something, images, so whatever you want to include in your document, before that, you need to save your file. Right? This is very important step. You need to save your file, right? How you save? There are several options to save your file, right? Simply you can go here in the quick access toolbar, you can see there is a save icon there, right? You can click here or otherwise you can use control S. That is the shortcut key, control S, right? Either you use this uh, command here or control S, right? You can see a window open or save as, save as, right? And also I will show you with uh, all the version. Here, same, control S, then you will get a window, right? Like this, right? This is also save as. So what are the differences? The save and save as. You need to understand these two words. Save and save as. Right? When you save your file or your document first time, save and save as are similar. Same commands, right? When you save at the first time, right? At the first time. That's why. Just I here I click control S that is save, save command, but you will get save as window. Right? That's why this is the first time I'm going to save this file. So then save, either save as or similar. You will get save as window, right? And once you have saved one file. And then you can start your work. That means you change your content. So then after saving changes, right? That is we call save, right? Save. So then once we have saved one file, then anytime you can click uh, save button or save command, or you can just type control S. The will not be again that window, right? No windows, just system save the file. You can't see that window, right? And again, save as you can use to save a copy under new name, right? Save a copy under new name. That is the difference between save and save as. 
I will show you that one here. And this is already not saved because you can see in the title bar the file name as document two, right? That is the uh, the system automatically given a name to this document as document two, right? So then I want to save it first time. I type Control plus S, right? Then you will get this window, right? The save as window. So then, first thing you need to locate your save in location, right? First thing. So you can uh, remember last week uh, in the introduction lecture, I explained you when you work in the computer lab, right? When you work in the computer lab, you need to save your all documents in a set drive, right? That is the central server, right? So then you need to open this save as window. Then you have to find the set drive in the computer lab, right? So then they assume that this is a set drive, right? You need to click that drive and then you can see your profile files there in set drive. Right, now already we saved the file, right? Now then you can start creating your document, right? Right, let's go to my PPT. Now it's clear, create new, save, save as and save, then open close, right? So it's clear. Here, uh, here the important point is, please remind these uh, shortcuts, right? This is very important to work very fast with the MS Word. Practice these shortcuts as your habit, right? And also the saving file is very important when you work with uh, MS Word, not only MS Word, all any other packages, right? Then this is very important, especially to uh, do your practical exams, right? Practical exams, because you have a limited time, probably uh, one and a half hours to complete your practical exam, right? So then you need to create some documents as a practical. For example, you need to create a MS Word document, a PowerPoint document, an Excel document, and sometimes access, right? Maybe in the second semester, you will have access also, right? So then you need to create these documents, right? So then you need to save this document and your saved file will assess, right? We will assess the your saved file. So then the, all your work should be saved. Otherwise we can't assess your practical exam. That's why I told you that the saving file is very important and the saving place also very important because we check your files in the server. We check your files in the server, right? In the server, we can find your file if only if you save under is a drive. Otherwise, we can't uh, search your file, right? That's why I emphasize that work file saving only in is a drive, right? And also uh, practice as a habit when you work. Just uh, I will show you example right so then uh, this this file this file already saved right already saved so then you can start working right so once you do some few works within uh, two three minutes just you can type control s right as a habit so then all new editing will be saved to the file, right? That is why that, that is a very important practice, right? Do some work here and then control S. That should be a habit, right? Control S, always type control S, control S, right? That is very important command, right? Next, page layout, right? Now you can understand the first we uh, open or create new file, right? So then first thing you need to save your file, 
given a, a meaningful name, right? So then you have to set your page. We call it page setup. Page setup. Under that, you need to set your page size, margins, orientation, background, like that, right? Especially page size and margin. That is very important, right? Size and margin. Right. Let's go page setup. Right. Page setup you can access through page layout. Page layout. Yeah. Page layout. Under page layout, you can see the ribbon area called page setup. Is set up. You can uh, access uh, individual uh, commands there, like uh, margins, orientation, size, and everything, right? And also, you can uh, go page setup window using uh, clicking this small arrow here. You can see small arrow here. Yes, you can click this arrow. Right? So then you can see page setup window of there. You can see margins, paper, and layout. Uh, three tabs under paper tab you can select your paper right page size uh, by default in ms word paper size selected as letter you can see here the letter however normally uh, the standard page size is what can anybody answer A4 size. A4. Very good. Very good. A4 right? Size. A4 size. Very good. Normally, we create documents in A4 page size, right? So then, uh, when you create your uh, documents, you need to select paper size as A4, right? A4. So then you need to set margins, right? You can see on the margins, there are uh, top, bottom, right, and left. You need to set these margins, right? It depends on your documents, right? Especially when you create your final year thesis, there are some rules and uh, standards to create your page, right? Top bottom margins and left right margins, right? Normally, uh, if you have uh, more pages in your document, you need to bind the document, right? For example, uh, your final year thesis, right? So then you need to have a bigger margin in left, right? Because you need to bind. There is some space to bind your document, right? But if you have a few pages, like five to 10 pages, just you don't need that bigger margin in left side because you just, you can stapler uh, that few pages, right? So you need to understand these margins and also some standards, right? When you create your thesis, the, the university asks you to set margins like this, right? So they will uh, give some uh, standards, right? However, you need to set margins here. Normally in Word, the unit is displayed as inches, right? Inches. But if you ask to set margin as two centimeters, so then how you do it? Can anybody answer? How you set margins? For example, all four margins you need to set by two centimeters. Two centimeters. If you type here two, that means inches because already the system by default, the selected unit is inches, right? But you need to set by centimeters. How do you do it? Can anybody answer? So we can convert inches to centimeter. Convert inches to centimeter. And you put uh, that value, right? Yeah, that is one way, but that is not the proper way, right? For example, you can go Google and this, then you can just convert 
uh, two centimeters to inches, then you can type it. That is a uh, one method, right? But point eight inches. Point eight inches. We can type there. Point eight. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one method. Yeah, just you can convert, right? But that is not the real way. In Word, you can change the unit, right? In Word, you can change the unit, right? I will show you that how to do it. Go to Control Panel and change the inch to centimeter. Yeah, this is the one. This is the way, right? But not Control Panel. You need to go to Word options, right? Word options, right? Good. There we have another slide. Customization, right? Let's go customization and change unit. Then you we can go back to page setup, right? Measurement units. You can go with Office button or file. Then Word options, right? Under options, you can go advanced display, right? Advanced display. Let's go office button, word options here, options. All right, right. Here you can go with advanced. Under advanced, you can scroll down until you show the display right here, display. Under display, you can see the show measurements in units of the feature and there you can see inches, right? Here you need to change to centimeters, right? This is the proper way to change measurement units, right? Then you can click OK, right? So then you can go uh, again page setup. And now you can see units displayed in centimeters, right? So then you can change to two, right? Normally when you, uh, Change like these uh, values. Just you can type uh, using your mouse. You can select this and then, then type again. Here you can select and type like that, right? Normally, uh, I do this like this, right? Once you open this window, you can see the top margin already selected, right? So then you can type the your margin value. For example, two, then you can uh, press tab key in the keyboard, tab key, right? Then you can see already next margin that is a bottom already selected. Then you can type again whatever the value, right? So then you can press again tab key, right? Again tab key, like that. This is very easy method. You don't need to use the mouse and click here and type. That is a, a long way, but you just you can use tab key to set these margins, right? And it's very fast, right? Let's see again. Just you can see and within one second you can set all four margins, right? Just the type value and tab. Right. Right, that is uh, Paper already uh, set to A4, then margin set uh, like this. Maybe if you ask to set uh, left margin uh, a little higher, like this. Right? So then uh, orientation normally, there are two orientations portrait and landscape. Our standard documents we have in portrait orientation, right? That is the height is. The, the width is lower than the height, but sometimes you, you, you need, uh, you may uh, require to have landscape documents like uh, some uh, tables, right? some uh, bigger tables, if you want to insert some tables, so you need to have that landscape uh, orientation, right? Otherwise, normal standard way is portrait, right? so you need to select this one. And then you can click OK. Right? Now you set the page size and also margins. Right? 
also margins. And under that, uh, there are another tab called uh, margin scrape and layout. Right? There you can see some other options, right? Uh, headers and footers, we will discuss later these things, header and footer, and the header size and footer size, right? We will discuss this once we uh, come to the header and footer section, right? And also you can see uh, the preview and also apply to all document, right? This is another part about sections in your document, right? We will come later to that one. And also you can see line numbers. What is this? The line numbers, that means you can insert a line to all your numbers, right? All your numbers. That is called line numbers, right? If you click this one, right? Then you can see add line number in like this. Start at one, right? From text auto count by one like that. The restart each page. That means in every page you have new lines, new numbers, right? Or you can restart each section and also continue. That means start by one and continues throughout your document. Why this is important? Normally we don't insert line numbers for our uh, basic documents, like your reports and your theses and letters like that. Normally we don't uh, <coughs> like line numbers, but uh, sometimes if you, maybe you are not familiar with that uh, scientific papers, like right? journal papers, we call manuscripts, right? When you want to, uh, write a manuscript to publish in a journal, right? Journal asks to put line numbers to your document, right? Because they review your uh, paper or manuscript and they uh, remarks put as line numbers, right? They will say some uh, uh, things to revise in page one line 20, line 30, like that. Right? For that purpose, you need to put line numbers, right? Here, we don't need to use for your basic documents, right? Right. Then we need to check the size, okay, margins, orientation, and background. On the background, you can set page color, uh, watermark, or page borders, right? The page color is not much important, right? It, uh, for uh, basic documents, right? For example, if you want to uh, design some artwork, right? Some invitation card like that, maybe you need to have uh, page colors, right? And also watermark, normally we use for draft documents. What is draft? Basically, we uh, create some documents and uh, later we uh, correct it, right? The basic, the first document we call draft. That means that is not finalized, right? We, we, we create some documents, for example, a report. <coughs> Initial document we call draft, right? That means it is not finalized. Maybe you need to change or edit something or you add something like that. After all changes and all addings, we can have a final version. Before that, we call it draft. Right? Normally, we use watermark, watermarks for draft uh, documents to mention that this is a draft. Right? That is, uh, but where we use watermarks, right? And page borders also uh, not much important for basic documents, but you need to uh, decorate your document using some borders, right? Let's go and check it, right? Under uh, page background, you can see uh, page color here, you can see use any color, but for basic documents, uh, it's not important part, right? And watermark, you can see, uh, some uh, 
built in watermarks there like uh, confidential uh, don't copy like that right and also you can customize using here uh, even you can use picture also as a watermark okay? so text watermark just you can select here then you can type some a text right like this Now we can see in this document so watermark inserted as draft. And uh, borders, page borders uh, are a little important, right? Page borders, especially when you create your documents, for example, you need to have a, a cover page, right? Cover page. And also in all other pages, you can insert a border, especially for cover page, you can add a border to uh, the increase the appearance, right? Increase the appearance, right? Or maybe if you want to uh, do some artwork using this word, you can use these page borders, right? Let's go page borders. There you can see the borders and shading window open, right? There you can see borders, page border, and shading. Right. There are three options there. First, go page border. Right. There you can see some uh, uh, styles, right? Different styles there. This actually, uh, actually, you can add some borders to text also. Right. Once you click on this, you can see the preview there. Right. And also, you can see that there are some different styles. For your border, right? Different styles there, <coughs> colors, different colors you can add, right? And also the width, the style, and also width you can increase the width here. And another one, you can see art. This is very important. You can <coughs> insert some different arts to your board like this, right? For example, I will select one art here and click OK. You can see page border with art inside of your page. Let's see some other style like this. You can see, right? Some decent style, right? Maybe it depends on your uh, document, right? Type of your document. You can insert some decent arts and also some decorative arts, right? Or borders. And also, you can uh, insert borders to text also, right? I will type some text here. I will get a random text, right? This is actually a function that support a rand. The function you can use this function to insert some text, random text to your document. Can see, I inserted some text. Right? I will uh, teach you again. This is the function. Now you type it with the equal equal sign and bracket. Then within brackets, you can have. Uh, you need to put two values. That is, uh, a number of uh, sentences and number of paragraphs, right? Let's see, I type three, then five. Let's see, you have a document with three paragraphs and how many sentences, right? Five sentences with each, right? You can see there are five sentences, right? And three paragraphs, how you get it? Ran three, then five. That means three means number of paragraphs. Five means number of sentences per paragraph. Okay, I want to show you that you can even insert a border to text also. Just we can select this text and you can it go border. Select uh, some style, right? So 
For that, you need to go shift to from page border to borders, right? Page border to borders, right? So then you can select style, different styles, and click OK, right? Now you can see you inserted a border to the text. Similarly, you can uh, add some shades like this, shading, fill color. And also you can add a pattern also like this, different patterns also. Right? There are some different patterns also. Right? This is uh, actually uh, this feature you can use to uh, create some decorative documents like uh, some uh, invitation cards or whatever artworks, right? This is not uh, for standard documents, right? Just learn how to do it. Right, that is the basic things about a page layout. You need to set your page, page size, margins, orientation and some background uh, page colors, watermarks and page borders, right? Then customization already done with uh, measurement units and also you can see customized keyboard shortcuts. At the beginning, I explained you to use some uh, shortcut keys, right? Shortcut keys, right? There are some standard shortcut keys in build, right? For example, Control C to copy. Control V to paste like that. Right? But you can, if you want some more commands to have with the shortcuts, you can customize your keyboard shortcuts. Right? The same way, how you customize your measurement units you can go with the same place for options. Then under options, you can see the command customize. Right? Once you selected customize, you can see uh, commands here and uh, quick access toolbar commands here. And you can uh, choose some commands to quick access toolbar here. But we, know we, we come here for customize to keyboard shortcuts, right? In this window, you can see just under the bottom side, keyboard shortcuts. There's a command here, again, customize. Right? Then you can click here and go with customize keyboard window. Right? This is the customize keyboard window. You can see some uh, categories, uh, category window and commands window. Category window, that means you have all tabs. Right? You can see office menu, home tab, insert tab, like that. And once you click one tab, under that tab, there are so many commands and you can see the command window, all these commands, right? right? For example, you select a home tab, then under commands, you select world, the command world. Now you can see the current shortcut key there, control B, right? If you select another one, for example, insert tab, Insert file. Now you can see insert file, the command, there, there are no any shortcut keys, right? Right? right. I will get another uh, familiar command like ball, right? Here you can uh, assign new commands and also you can remove existing commands. As an example, I will remove this command first, right? For that, you have to select the command and then click remove, right? So then uh, the bold command, there are no shortcuts. I removed it, right? Then you can assign a new command, new shortcut key, right? How you assign a new shortcut key? Simply select the command like this, home tab, then ball, then 
type here, select here, press new shortcut key, right? Select the, this box and then you can type your shortcut key. I will type the same key, control B, control B. You can see control B, I typed. Then still no, not in current keys, still in here. First you have to type it, then you have to assign it, right? You have to assign it. For that you need to click assign here. First, I remove that the already assigned key, then I assign that key again. Right? That is how you assign new shortcut keys. This is very important. Sometimes you need to uh, use different fonts, right? maybe some singular fonts, English fonts, some Tamil fonts. Right? So when you uh, uh, type your documents in, with the different uh, languages, you need to change time to time to different fonts. But uh, very easily, you can assign some shortcut keys for these uh, different fonts. So then you can use these fonts to type in different languages. Right? Similar way, if you have some uh, frequently used uh, commands, you can assign shortcut keys. That is that uh, importance and you need to practice that one. For example, uh, you can see some fonts right, like this. Under fonts, you can see there are so many fonts here. Right? Normally we use uh, Times New Roman, for example, this one, right? You can see, I already assigned a shortcut key, alt key for Times New Roman, right? If you have some uh, different languages, for example, singular font, I want to find some uh, different language font. Let me check it with the word. I don't know there are some fonts, singular. Ah, yeah, it's a font called FM Abay, right? Now I show you how it works, right? Okay, you can see already I assigned Alter T for time stream code, right? Just you can type Alter T. You can see time stream code, right? If you want to type singular font, you need to select from here, singular font, right? Like that, right? But if you have assigned a shortcut key, you don't need to use the mouse and just you can type shortcut key, right? So let's go again, options, customize, keyboard shortcuts, then you can select fonts, then you can select the you open FM Abai. Right. This one, right? Then you can uh, assign a new key. I use Alt A. Alt A. Type the key Alt A, then assign. Right? Then close. Right. Now you can. Again, all the T times new row. Right? Then all the A signal. Right? Now you can understand the importance, right? Similarly, you can assign shortcut keys for any other different fonts, right? Even Tamil fonts also, right? That you need to practice and Assign if you want, assign new shortcut keys and use them, right? Next, typing and inserting text. Here, uh, there's a chart you can see to move the insertion point and press there are some, some keys, right? So what is insertion point? When you 
create your word documents right and see i delete this this is the insertion point you can see the blink mark here that means when you type text inserted to insertion point right like this that is insertion point right when you have uh, your document like text right you can see when you want to type here again you need to take the move that point here like that right you can use mouse and also you can use some arrow keys like this up arrow key or right arrow key like this down arrow key like this right there are some uh, movements right? you can see that uh, slide to move the insertion point that uh, point you can move using these keys right left one character left arrow right one character right arrow these are very basic things right uh, down one line down arrow up one line then up arrow right left one word control plus left arrow right right one word control plus right arrow like that right to the beginning of the current line you can press home key and the similarly to end to the end of the current line end key okay. to the beginning of the document you can press control plus home key okay. these are important when you have uh, the, the documents with more pages right sometimes you have uh, 100 200 pages right you may between these pages, right? Yes, if you want to go up and down, right? You can just you can use the mouse and also you can use these keys, right? Next page, control page down like that. One screen page up, one down, one screen page down like that, right? You need to uh, keep in mind these uh, keys and practice them with your documents, right? Then another uh, keys or commands, backspace and delete. What are these? The backspace key erases text backwards from right to left. Right? Actually, these backspace and delete key are also erasing text, both, right? Both erasing text, but different way. Backspace key erases text backwards from right to left the delete key erases text forwards from left to right either key you can use for erasing text right but you can understand the erasing text in different way right in both keys if you hold down the control key when you press either backspace or delete it will erase word by word right word by word just uh, you need to practice like this, right? Now you can see here, from here, you can delete this uh, text using delete key, right? But you can't use backspace here. You can see when I press backspace, you can't hear it erase. But if you point is here, you can use backspace. Also, you can use delete. Right. You need to understand that uh, if you press control key, then you can click backspace or delete, you can delete word by word. Right. That is actually just simple things. If you want to delete, just you can uh, select using your mouse and click delete. Right. There are so many ways to delete text. Right. Then selecting text. This is also uh, important when you work with documents, especially when you edit your documents, right? There are some uh, commands. Select a word. You need to double click anywhere within the word. Right? Simply, you can select. By double clicking, you can select one word. To select a sentence, Hold the control key down and click anywhere within the sentence. Click anywhere. This is you can understand 
click and double click right here double click but to select a sentence just hold the control key and single click click right select a line click the mouse on the selection bar directly to the left of the text click the mouse on the selection bar what is selection bar normally the selection bar is the left margin right i will show you it right you can see here we have some text right once you can double click then you can select that word double click right and if you select uh, the press and hold control key and then you can single click to select sentence right select this sentence just click with control key right simple click and you can select a line using like this selection bar that means you can see uh, this is your left margin right this is your top margin this is your right margin right and also bottom right in uh, in this left margin you can see while you in the page page body right the text you can see the mouse pointer this is the mouse pointer you can see the mouse pointer like uh, the character i right this is actually editing mode right you can see but when you move the mouse pointer to left margin you can see the pointer will be changed to arrow you can see right i will move slowly and you can understand like this right i move slowly right now here you can see it change mouse pointer change to an arrow that means now you are in selection bar right now you are in selection bar while you are in selection bar you can click just you can select one line or you can click and drag to select more lines right now i think you can uh, you understood that right what is selection bar right let's take some other text so there i have been right select a line that is click the mouse on the selection bar directly to the left of the text right then select multiple lines then you can uh, similar way drag the mouse along the selection bar right then select a paragraph double click on the selection bar just direct to the paragraph like uh, you select a line Let's see. Just you can select with single click one line, right? One line like this, right? And if you double click, just now you can see my mouse pointer read to the second paragraph, right? Second paragraph. If you single click. that means one line selected right then if you click double double click right that means you can select entire paragraph right understand the mouse pointer is in the selection bar then you can double click like this right you can select paragraph right the last one select the entire document there are a few ways triple click that means you need to click three times but that is very it should be very fast right with the selection bar or choose edit then you can select select all there's a command select all or simply you can press control a that is a shortcut key for this command entire document to select entire document right Single click one line, 
double click paragraph if i click entire document right you need to understand that right you need to practice it and also you can press control a to select entire document right that is about uh, selections and highlighting that you can use for different uh, editing uh, tasks right and to select and everything yeah right right then uh, other commands what you can use for editing right move copy and paste undo and undo and where we do copy and uh, move that means cut and paste copy means copy and paste right there are several ways to do this uh, task just you can uh, use drag and drop method that is uh, using mouse drag and drop method and also uh, the menu commands under the home home tab you can see so there are so many commands there cut copy and paste and also you can use shortcuts best way to use shortcuts right like control x control c control v right this uh, control x that means cut control c that means copy control v that means paste right you can use these commands let's see one example right here you can see under home tab you can see uh, under clipboard see the cut copy and paste once you select one word you can see these commands are activated cut command copy command and also paste right this through a uh, menu bar right commands and also if you want to use the mouse just select then click it and can drag to somewhere like this back to somewhere and also there is an option uh, keep source formatting like that several there are some several options there that means if you have different formats in your different uh, text right then you can keep these formats as it is and also you can change the formats to uh, the place you copy there are some options there right just select click and drag then you can release drag and drop this is drag and drop method right drag and drop method and also you can select then you can use control x to put cut and control v to paste right Similar way, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, right? If you uh, cut and copy or copy and paste the, the either way from different formats to another different formats, then you can use this tool and select what you want, right? Keep text only, that means you are going to change the format to the destination formatting uh, options like that. Just you can practice this and check how these commands are working, right? Then this is also important command undo and redo, right? Undo and redo, that means you can cancel any commands. Right. You can cancel any commands using undo, right? Undo command can cancel whatever you did, right? And also redo that means you can uh, cancel the cancellation, right? You, I think you can understand, right? For example, here you can see I did some several uh, commands. I just copied some text and so there are a series of commands here, right? Just you can cancel all these using undo command, right? Undo command is located in 
quick access toolbar, right? You can see the curved arrow, undo, right? You can click here or you can use shortcut key, control reset. Control reset, right? Press control reset. You can see one by one, cancel. One by one, you can cancel all these commands. Or redo, that means you can cancel the cancellation, right? That is shortcut key is control Y. That means you can you can come back to it, right? So this is very important when you edit your documents, right? Just uh, if you did some wrong things, just you can uh, press control Z, that is undo, undo, right? Control Z for undo, control Y for read. Right, next part, formatting, right? Just you can uh, insert text to your document simply, uh, without any formats, right? But you need to understand about formatting because when you uh, create some professional or academic documents, you need to follow some uh, standards, some standards, right? For that, you need to use some formats, right? There are uh, uh, formats like text formats and also paragraph formats. You can format the uh, entire paragraph or you can just format your text only, right? There are two formatting ways, right? Under uh, text formatting, you can uh, use these uh, font styles, font size, color, like highlighting, uh, the bold, uh, italic, underline, like that, right? Then superscript, subscript. There are so many formatting options, right? These are for text formatting, right? Yes, you can check them with uh, under home tab, form tab, you can see under fonts, there are so many commands there. These all are text formatting options, right? Similarly, under paragraph, in your paragraph, there are some other formats there under paragraph, paragraph formats. For example, some uh, Alignments, text alignments. You can use these for paragraphs, alignments, and some other uh, list and numbers and all other things here. Right? You can uh, go one by one. Right? Normally, uh, yeah, this uh, paragraph formattings, aligning text, indenting, line spacing, columns, group tab. Those are formats for paragraphs, right? Uh, let's see, just, these are basic things that uh, text formats, I, I don't go with uh, deeply this, just you can select your text, right? For example, if you want to have a title, like uh, this. So then you can change the formats, bold and also you can uh, change font size also like this that's how you use formats this is uh, text formats right what i did i just uh, change the font to bold and also increase the font size to 16 right increase the font size to 16 and also if you need maybe you can use also palaces other changes also. Like this. Right? So basic uh, formats for text, right? And also, when you select font size, as a shortcut key, normally I use it. So practice you also. That is control plus square bracket. left square bracket to reduce the font size and right square bracket to increase the font size. 
what I explained, the font size. You can use uh, control square bracket to increase, right? It's very easy, right? You don't, don't need to go, you use a mouse and go there, font size and select, right? Just you can select the text and then use control plus square bracket. Right. These are uh, text formatting. There are some other options also you can uh, use. Uh, for example, superscript, subscript like this. Right. Also, there are some shortcuts for them also. Bold, italic, underline, you know that the control B, control I, control U, right? Control B, bold, U, underline, I, italic, right? So please practice these shortcut keys, right? To format your text. And uh, what? use that uh, scripts like this or if you want to type uh, co2 right co2 when you type co2 this is not the correct way right you need to put the two in script script level normally how you type co2 superscript or subscript Normally we use like this, right? This is subscript. And also you need to type some other text like superscript. For that you can click this one, superscript. And also you can use shortcut key, control, then plus or equal. So equal. You can see here. I will uh, like this. So you, you need to understand, right? Just you can select the two, then control plus plus and equal key. Right? Once you press it, you can see the text change to a script. If you press again, come back. Press again, again like that, right? Similarly, you can type uh, control key plus shift key and then plus. Both you need to both uh, keys, you need to use both control and shift. That is super strict, right? That is also rotating, right? Once you press it, change, well, you press again, come back to normal. Right. right. That is, uh, you, you need to practice this book basic formatting text, right? Formatting uh, text options, right? Then formatting paragraphs, especially alignment, aligning text, that is important one. Normally, uh, we, right? What is this aligning, right? You can see, you can understand, uh, look this uh, first paragraph right first paragraph you can see in the left side all uh, text aligned aligned properly aligned but you check the right side it's not aligned right you can see here the look the word the power the diagrams formatting not aligned to right side right here this we call left aligning left aligning right or you can change to this alignment to right side also right you can see on the paragraph there are some commands there you can see here this is aligned text left already the built-in format is that when you type documents in ms word right? just you can put the your cursor in the relevant paragraph then you can select Align text right. Now you can see all text align to the right side, but not to the left side. Right? And also, 
another option center that means takes align to the center not to both sides right? you can see both sides are not aligned at this sentence all sentences align to the center you also you can do center like this right normally when you prepare your documents you can put some uh, titles in center and the text may be uh, left align or another option you can align in both ways both sides that we call justify justify align right and select like this now you can see both sides are aligned properly this also you can use shortcut keys for alignment left right very easy control r and control left also justify also control j right but center control e right you just you can type control l left align r right align e center j justify that is very easy please practice shortcut keys right next indent what is indenting can indent text like this right you can see the your text here start from that left margin uh, point right but you can see this also i will get to left right this text you can shift to right side in some certain levels that we call indent under paragraph there you can see some tools decrease indent and increase indent right you can see if you press this one you can see the word interaction one step move to the right side that is you increase the indent right or you can go back using this one right? the paragraph also say right paragraph also say you also we can use shortcut key that is control m right control m if you press one that is one step if press again another step like that right so similar way you can come back control shift m that is shortcut key control shift then m you can come back similarly you can even you can use the mouse right and also then you can decrease right indenting this very important when you create your documents especially if you have some list also you can increase or decrease indents to the increase the appearance in the document right then line spacing this is also very important uh, formatting option line spacing right here you can see normally when you create uh, uh, documents by default it takes some uh, space you can see the the, the line spacing means the space between lines the space between lines right you can see the space between lines right for that you can uh, select some there are uh, command is there line spacing right you select this one you can see there are some options there the 1 1.15 1.5 2 2.5 3 like that there is built in space in there right you can select one that means you can see this part change to line spacing to one right but normally built in they have 1.15 right is the built in spacing if you insert a text without a uh, change in the space already assign the 1.15 right but in time you can change right just select your all lines you can go there and select your line space right 
This is also very important to increase your uh, the document appearance, right? Especially there are some uh, for some documents like your thesis, final year thesis, you need to have a line spacing to two, double line spacing like that, right? Normally we use uh, single line spacing for basic documents, but especially for uh, reports and also thesis, it depends, right? It depends on the, uh, the document type, right? You also you can use shortcuts. Also, you can use shortcuts. I will uh, uh, teach you three shortcuts. Three shortcuts: Control plus one, Control plus five, and Control plus two. What it means? Control plus one that means single line spacing. Control plus two double line spacing. Control plus five means one point five, right? One and half, right? Let's see the text you can select, then press control one, that is single line spacing, then control plus two, double line spacing, then control plus five, one and a half. Right. These uh, shortcuts are important shortcuts, please practice. Right. So then very easily you can edit your documents, control one. One, two, five. If you need a specific line spacing, just you can go here, line spacing options. There you can uh, have different options under spacing, line spacing. There you can see uh, single, 1.5, double, and there are some other options like uh, exactly. Then you can type by points, right? like this. You can see, you can adjust your document with different line spacing, right? So there are so many options to do that, right? Just you can go here, line spacing options. There you can select at least like that, or exactly, or some, some multiple, right? So then you can increase by points, right? And exactly by font size like this, like that, there are different options, right? Okay, let's go again, then next part, uh, what uh, line spacing columns, columns. This is another uh, paragraph formatting option, columns. This we called uh, newspaper columns, right? Newspaper columns, why we use that word? You know that uh, when you read newspapers, right? So many columns there in one page. You take one uh, newspaper page, so many columns, right? But in uh, basic documents like your reports, you, you need to have a single column, single column document. This also, this example also, single column document, right? But you can, if you want to make documents with uh, different columns, you can use this columns option, right? That is actually under page layout, page layout. They are under page setup, there you can see columns, right? Well, here, you need to understand when you uh, make columns, there are some uh, difficulties. If you not understand clearly, right? If you understand clearly, it's okay, right? So then, Let's see how you uh, divide columns, right? For example, I put my cursor here, right here, and go to columns. There you can see, if you click here, you can see some options, one, two, three, left, right, like that, right? To select columns three. Now you can see the document divided to three columns, right? three columns here. I, I simply put the cursor here, then I go here and select. If you want uh, two columns, just you can select two columns. Right? It's very easy. Right? But here you can see when you apply columns, it's applied to the entire document. 
That is what we need to be careful. Right? Once you select the option from this list, this is going to be applied to entire document, right? But if you want to apply it to some portion, right, some portions only, then you need to do some other way, right? For example, I'll select this again. For example, I want only this, the second paragraph to, to be a two columns, right? So then how you do it? If you put the cursor here and then you can apply second. So it's also again applied to the entire document, right? That is not the way, right? So then if you select this text like this, and then you can apply two columns. Now you can see that is applied only to that selected portion. That is why I, I, I explain you, this is very critical point when you apply columns and you need to do it very carefully, right? Now you can see this is applied only to this second paragraph. Then third paragraph and also again, Next one, I applied again some with some columns like this. Right? So then you need to understand this. Right? And also another option, I will come with uh, more columns. Then you can see the columns window, right? Columns window. There you can see one, two, three, left, right. That means uh, three means similar. Uh, three columns, two means similar two columns. Left means two columns, but left is smaller and right is bigger. Right means right is smaller and left is bigger. Right, these are the already built in options. And also you can uh, type by number, number of columns here, right? Like this. So many columns you can add, right? And also, you can add a line between columns. If you check this one, you can add lines between columns, right? And also, when you divide divide two columns, the column width already taken by the system, like this, and the spacing. But you can change this, right? If you think that the, the 1.27 centimeter, the column spacing, it's, uh, uh, the uh, large, maybe you can decrease it to maybe one centimeter like that. So then automatically the width increased, right? And just you can click OK and apply, right? You can see this is applied to this paragraph, right? And also line between the columns. And also another option you need to understand here again. Look this, apply to this section, right? And if you click here, you can see this point forward and hold document. This is very important when you uh, create some uh, columns in your document, right? Section means you can uh, divide sections in your document. This is another part I will come later for sections, right? If you have divided sections in your document, you can apply the columns to only to that section, right? For that, you need to select like this section. In this document, in this example document, only one section because I did not divide two sections, right? I will come to that point later, right? But you need to understand this, right? This section, that means the sections. Right? This point forward, that means from any point to forward. Can apply, right? For example, I will remove again. Okay. Right. You can see several paragraphs I put here and go columns and uh, select three columns and select this point forward. Right. Now you can see that from the cursor point to forward change to three columns, but above that, still single column, right? That's what you need to understand, right? And 
that is uh, this section that is about sections this point forward and hold okay wherever the cursor point if you select hold document okay, is applied to the hold okay that is what uh, i explain you that it should be very careful when you apply columns right i think uh, this is enough for today right today lecture i will stop here for today now maybe uh, next week we will have today we have only one session right only this session i will stop session within few minutes and uh, next week we will have maybe two sessions right one is uh, for this lecture i will continue ms word and another session for your other questions regarding your lms uh, ms and zoom email accounts okay thank you thank you very much then i will stop now